Alrighty everyone, so he is charging. You can see he's going 67.6. So realistically, it is a very good achievement. The amount of charge speed into this versus the amount of input supplied. Okay, he's uh, holding his own 100%. So he will be self-running, exactly as shown. We are burning energy in this resistor that is shorting it out, right? So uh, I can take that off, and there's lots of ways I can improve it from where he is, but even at almost his worst, wasting energy all over the place, he's still putting good charge into here, okay? It take two amp, one hour to fill him at 67 volt. So he, I'm not saying he's putting out amps and all that shit. He will be putting out microamps, but he is charging him good, okay? We have losses here. Everywhere we look, we are losing power. 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 Fuck, everywhere we are losing power. In the circuits, in the ZVS, on the fan, on the LED. Everywhere I look is power loss, but yet... We have power gain, zero watt. He's running 4.7 watts. These numbers are meaningless when you understand how this device is going to function when completed. You will want him to use as much power as he can <laughs> because you will always want more of that good, luscious, free energy, right? Of course you will. The whole world will. But... We're not going to get there until we get there. <laughs> and we are on our way. Uh -huh. Good distance. So, he's charges, no problem. Next, um, what I'm going to say is this. So, we understand we can have 8 kV charging ability, high potential, high frequency, ability to charge through translation device, and convert that through conversion, Tesla conversion, to lower voltage, higher amperage. Really fast cap charging when you start going to these kind of numbers and not just one wire like this is throttled way back because it can get very fucking scary, very fucking fast, very dangerous. And when we start raising the voltage here, you must understand joule magnification. As you raise the voltage in the capacitor, the amount of energy stored in it, like, what is it, quadruples or something? It's just outrageous. It goes crazy fast in joules. And it cost us nothing to put 8,000 volts in a capacitor or put uh, uh, 100 volts or whatever we want, right? It makes no difference. I mean, it can depend how it's wired. But we are inserting the earth energy here, so we're getting a lot of gain from that. We're making a radiating field all around the damn thing. So, anyways. Next, I was going to talk about... It was really good, too. Um, golly. All right. Oh, boy. It's too good to talk about. I had to forget there for a minute to remember that it's too good to talk about. So you understand these LTOs have extremely low internal resistance. The lowest internal resistance allows this to be recharged in six minutes from completely empty to completely full. They can sustain 37.5 amps recharge per cell. Okay, that's a lot of power. So, you understand they have the ability to absorb mass amounts of energy. So, here's how you're going to get a lot of fucking power. But you need to use these, right? So, you're going to take that dumper I have. My friend make a fabulous tool. But, uh, unfortunately, the world a little low IQ to figure out how to use it. But here, we will speed them up a bit. How's that? Huh. <laughs> So we will take this 8 kV, we want 30 watts, so what to use 30 watt? Who gives a fuck? Our throughput has just gone up like 10,000 times from what it is now by going up to 30 watts. And so that will make our dumper dump stupid, wicked fast. And we don't want to dump crazy amount, 
okay and we don't want to dump a huge differential in potential we want to be able to dump at so what 210 volts and into, into like what just slight you know 210 volts would be ideal and then you're having massive amp gain in the nanosecond this is released to the of speed this can absorb it i do it but i do it with 7800 microfarads that i think i originally thought it was a thousand volt i retest the device discovers about 480 volt but the amount of amps released in that nanosecond doubled the capacity in a 25 amp hour battery fucking doubled it in the blink of an eye it was wild so now you scale that properly to maybe 50 microfarads and on each discharge we show already 50 amps but now you're going to see 200 amps every time it dumps because the internal resistance on this versus lead acid is extreme so you have to make lower much lower your microfarads so you don't blow the guts out of this shit because that'll put you in the poor house haha <laughs> so these are the little ones you can get the big 40 amp hour ones and then you can bang the 5800 microfarad at 500 volts to a 500 volt lto and instantly recharge that entire battery okay that is reality i mean i do it years ago now time just gets by so fast but we had to develop domper i had to perfect driving circuit and we're still on the perfection stage of this because we want to add that we want to close loop it we want to have a source that is incorporated on the output okay it's pretty simple man it works so good lucky charging have a great day